Although I don't know what the end game is because it's always so mushy when it comes to battling these things out in court. And that's what a contempt vote is. If the committee approves this, it goes to the full house. If the full house approves it, then under a federal law, the U.S. attorney here for the District of Columbia, part of the Justice Department. Who works for Eric Holder. That's right. Is instructed. It's his duty, the law says, to convene a grand jury to decide whether to prosecute. Now, a couple of things about that. Number one, the Justice Department has long taken the position under both Democratic and Republican administrations that Congress Congress can't tell the U.S. attorney what to do. Uh, so that's unresolved in court. But secondly, the Justice Department's most recently in the Bush administration, both Republicans and Democrats again, have further taken the position that when there's an executive privilege claim, the U.S. attorney absolutely cannot do anything. All these questions are unresolved in court. And in fact, in past cases, most recently the battle over Harriet Myers and the firings of the U.S. attorneys under the Bush administration, the, the judge said, you know, I'm begging you guys to work this out and not come to court. So, you know, who knows what the end game here is. What you have right now is uh, Daryl Issa, the chairman of this committee, saying, give us the documents, and if they satisfy us, we won't have this vote. And Eric Holder, the attorney general, saying, if you promise not to have this vote, I'll give you what you want, and I'll brief you on what it is. The Justice Department says they think this indicates the committee isn't serious because they've made an <laughs> offer to tell them what they, what they need. Now, one other point here, Andrea. This is not over Fast and Furious itself. This is over documents created last year in terms of what the government's, what the Justice Department's response was once it found out that it had sent a letter up to Congress that turned out to be wrong. They said to Charles Grassley, the senator from Iowa, this, there was no gun running here. Then they found out there was. The committee wants to know, was there a cover-up?